Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is sort the people. In this question, we are given a string array called names and also an integer array called heights which consists of distinct positive integers and both the names array and the heights array have the same length n. Names of height denotes the name of a person and heights of height denotes the respective height of that person. We need to return the names array in decreasing order depending on the heights of the people. So now let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. I have taken the same example they have given us. So this is the input array names and this is their corresponding heights inside an integer array heights. So we have to associate each height with their respective name. So as you need to form a pair, you can use a hash map to store these values as a pair. The key will be the heights and the values will be their names. So once you fill the map, the map will look like this. So this is how the map will look, though the order of insertion might vary because the order of insertion is not maintained inside a hash map. So the main point is that the keys will hold the heights and the values will hold the names. Now we have a pair. Now we need to start off by accessing the maximum height among the heights array. So to access the heights one by one from maximum to minimum, we can sort the heights array in ascending order and then access the max heights from right to left. So after sorting the heights array will look like this. Now we need to return our array with the names, right? So let's create the output array. I'm going to name it sorted names. So this output array will also be of the length of the names array. Now we need to access the maximum height. So we access the maximum height from the sorted array from the end. So we take an index and point it at the end. Now we need to get its name from the map. So 180 associates to Mary. So using map.get of 180, you get the value Mary. And then you use the index variable, which will be pointing at the beginning of the output array to insert the output. So Mary will be added into the output array. And next we increment this index variable to add the next name. And also we decrement the i variable because we need to access the second max height. And now we check if the value of 170 is present inside the map. Yes, it is present. So get its respective value and add it into the output array sorted names. So Emma will be added here. And now we need to increment the index variable to insert the next name. And we also decrement the i variable to access the next number inside the sorted array. Now we check if 165 is present inside the map. Yes, it is present. So access its respective value. So John will be accessed and entered into the sorted names array. And increment the index pointer to add the next element and decrement the i pointer to access the next height. Now you cross the first index position while you are iterating from right to left. Once you come out of the array, you can end the iteration and whatever is present inside this sorted array will be returned as the output. Now let's take a look at the Java code implementing the same steps. Coming to the function, this is the function name. This is the string array names and this is the integer array heights. And we need to return a string array as the output with the names in decreasing order depending on the heights. Let's start off by creating a hash map which will where the keys will store the heights and the names will be stored in the value section. Now let's using a for loop, let's iterate through both the arrays. And in the key part, I'm going to insert the height. And in the value part, I'm going to insert the name. So this is the key part and this is the value part. Since names.length and heights.length will have the same value, you can either use names.length or you can also use heights.length. Now using the put method, let's insert the height and name into the map. Now this for loop will fill the map. Now let's sort our heights array in ascending order. Now sorting the heights array in ascending order will put the maximum elements to the right side of the array. So to get maximum element one at a time, let's iterate the heights array from right to left. So i is pointing at the last element. It will iterate until i is equal to zero and in each iteration we decrement i by one. Now we need to return an output array of string data type consisting of the name. So let's create the output array. This output array will also be of the same length as the names array. Now we need a pointer to insert elements inside the sorted names. So I'm going to declare a index variable. And initially it will be starting at zero because we have to insert names from the beginning. So index position zero and each iteration, whenever you want to add a new element, we increment the index. And as I said, we'll use this index variable to insert element into the sorted names. And now we have the maximum name at the last index position pointing at i. So we need to get its respective name 
from the map. So we have access to the height. We have to get its respective name from the map using the get method map.get height so phi. So we start off with the maximum height where i is pointing at the last index position and we get its respective name and add it inside index and while inserting the next name we need to increment index to make a new position inside the sorted names array and this for loop will put all the elements inside the sorted names array and we have our output inside sorted names so let's return the output here outside the for loop now let's try to run the code so this has to be heights there you have it, our test cases are running. Let's submit the code. And our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n log n because we are sorting the array where n is the length of the heights array. And the space complexity is also O of n because we are using a map to store the input. Space complexity is O of n where n is either the length of the names array or the heights array. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.